Hiawatha Bray here, and I've just checked out a brand new ATM that's just open for business at South Station. Oh, all right, why am I talking about a new ATM? That's hardly new cutting edge technology, right? It's a new ATM that lets you do something that really you haven't been able to do before in this area or almost anywhere in the world. Buy that hot new currency known as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new kind of electronic currency that was invented by people on the internet. Unlike most money, there's no government behind it. It's just a bunch of people running their computers in a network worldwide that has created this currency. A handful of companies now let you actually buy things from them with Bitcoin, including the well-known website Overstock.com. However, Bitcoin is fluctuating so radically in value that it's really dangerous to keep a large supply of it on hand instead of regular money. I bought $100 worth of Bitcoins last Friday, and 10 minutes later it was only worth about $98. Right now, it's a very unsafe investment, but if they can get it to work, it could have huge benefits. For example, my wife's Congolese, and it costs her about $12 to send $100 to a relative in Congo. With Bitcoin, it would be like sending an email. The cost of the transaction would be virtually zero. You could send $100 for maybe $100.50. But on top of it, Bitcoin could allow us to find an alternative to today's credit cards. Every time you do a credit card purchase, it costs the merchant 2, 3, 4% in fees. Bitcoin would probably cost only about 1%. That's why companies like Overstock.com are actually giving people discounts for using Bitcoin. The problem, however, is that Bitcoin is still pretty shaky. There have been serious security problems at some of the companies that do Bitcoin trading. How do you use Bitcoin? What you have to do is get a wallet. This is an app that can do it on a smartphone, but believe it or not, you could also get a Bitcoin wallet that's simply a piece of paper with a barcode printed on it. This printed code here is a unique digital signature that allows people to send you money. Interestingly enough, you can't use this signature to take money out of the account. That's one of its security features. Hey, don't let that stop you. Anybody out there want to send some cash? Go right ahead. It's a great way to test Bitcoin. I promise I'll give, well, some of it to charity. But I do also have a code hidden in this device that allows me to give people money. Using this, I can walk up to that ATM in South Station and I can take regular dollars and turn them into Bitcoins. I just press this up against the little window on the front of the ATM. It scans the barcode. Then I start feeding in money. And automatically, when I push the Agree button, it transfers that into Bitcoins and puts it in my wallet. Unfortunately, there are only a handful of stores in the Boston area that accept it. You don't even have to have a smartphone to use Bitcoin. At the ATM in South Station, they're giving these out. These can be used as Bitcoin wallets. Money can be transferred onto this piece of paper, and any device capable of reading a Bitcoin barcode can use this to either pay money into your account or take money out. Get a load of that. There's about a dollar's worth on this particular card, and if anybody wants to steal an image and try to get that dollar, go ahead. Whoever takes this dollar, send me an email. I really would like to meet somebody that greedy. Bitcoin still has a lot of flaws. It's an experimental technology. You might want to play around with it, and I think you'd find it fascinating and very educational. But don't spend a lot of money on it yet. On the other hand, Bitcoin has an immense potential. Its transaction costs being as low as they are, it could really add millions of dollars to the bottom line for a lot of merchants. It could make sending money to friends and family overseas radically cheaper. And it could be far more secure and less subject to hacking than today's credit cards, at least if they manage to get their security right. I wouldn't go putting a lot of money into Bitcoin right now, but I'd certainly keep an eye on it, because this could turn out to be the future of currency. From the Tech Lab, this is Hiawatha Bray.